Hello everyone! I know it looks like I may be a floating head right now, but I'm wearing a green shirt and I've got a green screen going on behind me. So I'm going to click off of here for just a second so you can kind of see what it looks like. But I'm representing Dinan today because Dinan is in the lead as far as our house points go. I know it's killing me to, uh, to wear this shirt. In fact, this is the first time I've ever worn a dining shirt and this is last year's dining shirt and uh, anyway you know earn points come on Funda I need some Funda folks in here to earn some points so I can put my blue back on uh, but Funda uh, but dining's in the lead and I'll, I'll share that with you uh, right now so I'm gonna go ahead and click uh, my green screen back on so it looks like I've got this fake office here behind me I also told you last week that I was going to share uh, some behind the scenes. So I have I have a picture up here that uh, will show you in just a second what everything looks like. So I see Jacory is here. In fact, this is the shirt that Jacory created last year. Austin, uh, Mackenzie, Emily, uh, Jose, Johnny, Jania. I mean, there's just tons and tons of uh, good comments and chats going on in the in uh, here on YouTube today, and I'm so happy that you all are here and yes we know fund is the best house uh come on come on <laughs> so what are we going to do today uh i'm not going to keep you long but we're going to play a math game uh in a couple minutes but i want to share kind of what our outline is for the day so uh back to the, the powerpoint uh let's see so on Friday, I had you write some haikus, and a few of you sent me some haikus, and I'm going to share uh, three of those with you today. Uh, let's see. After, let's see. Oh, I'm clicking the wrong buttons here. Uh, after we uh, look at our haikus, I'm going to talk about our journal writing. I'm going to share our house points, uh, coronavirus, Mr. Crater Live totals, and then we're going to play our math game. Um, Hey, Miss Yarbrough's here too. So hello, everyone. Uh, and she's at saying, where is your Reese at? Well, we'll see how your house points are in just a second. So on Friday, we learned about how haikus and how to write haikus. They're three line poems that have five syllables, seven syllables, and five syllables. And I had uh, three people uh, write some poems and share those with me. And so I want to share them with you today. The first one was by Jacory. And he wrote, the first cold shower, even the monkey seems to want a little coat of straw. Now, this one is very close to being a haiku, but we have a couple syllables here that are off. So if, we, if you remember what I taught you on Friday, if you put your, the top of your hand below your chin, when you say each uh, word, it will tell you how many syllables there are in that word. So if I do that here, the first cold shower shower that's five syllables so first line's good jacory the second line even the monkey seems to want that's eight syllables so that's one syllable off so we need to change this second line so that it has one syllable less so we could maybe say even the monkey uh let's see even the monkey wants to we could do that that would be seven syllables and then a little coat of straw is six syllables so we would need to change that to five syllables a little coat a little straw coat that would fix that so a little straw coat so thank you jacory for sending that in you got some points for dining for that our next one evan sent in evan is in the cold without a jacket for heat and a sense of thought so we've got a, a little issue with this one too Evan is in the cold. That's six syllables. So we we could say Evan is uh, in cold, and then we could say without a jacket for heat. That's seven syllables. So that's good. And a sense of thought. That's five syllables. So that's good. We we're just off by one syllable there, Evan. Thank you for sharing. And then Miss Kroll, our art teacher, she sent in this one from. The one and only I Ivan, silent silverback, every artist has a voice to change their domain. So she got some points for Yarisi, uh 
uh, for sending that in. So thank you all for sending in your, your haikus. Um, these are all really good. I, I really enjoyed uh, reading those. And hopefully, uh, if you didn't send one in, you can still send one in and get some points uh, for your house. If you weren't here on Friday, just go back and, and rewatch that episode where we learned how to write haikus. All right, let's go on to our next assignment. I hope you're keeping up with your coronavirus journal. I have been, I've been writing for the last week and I have over 10 pages written down so far. So this isn't something you have to turn in, but this is something that I hope that you are writing and, and keeping up because years from now, we're gonna look back on this time and you're gonna be telling people, remember when, remember what happened during the coronavirus outbreak of 2020? And these notes and these, this journal that you keep will help you, you do that. So I hope you're keeping up with your coronavirus journal. All right, here are the house points. Dinan, you are in the lead with 40 points right now. And it's a very close race. Amistad, Funda, and Eurisi, you all have 30 points. So a uh, super, super close race here. I need some Funda folks, please, to get some points here. Send some uh, haikus in because I'm getting, I don't want to wear green again. Uh, I just don't. It's just it's killing me to wear green because I know if Mr. Murray's watching this, He's just loving seeing me in dining colors today. So help me out, Funda. <laughs> All right. So this is the way, this is the room that I'm in, my little office that I have at my house. This is what it actually looks like. So on the right side, you can see my computer. I have an iMac and they have a uh, camera uh, hooked on top of my iMac. That's what's filming me, that camera. And then right below the computer, there's a microphone. So that's the microphone uh, that's picking up my voice. On the left-hand side, that's a wide-angle uh, shot. And that shows I've got a light over here on the left-hand side that's lighting up the background and lighting up me so that you can see me. And then I'm sitting, of course, uh, in this chair, and this is the desk. So this is kind of what my room actually looks like. Uh, I have these medals that are hanging up at the top kind of center. Um, those are marathon medals that I've run and those numbers and stuff up there on the on that are hanging up on the wall and pictures. Those are from races that I've uh, that I've done in the past since I like to run marathons. So I wanted to show you this behind the scenes. This is what my office really looks like uh, where I'm shooting this. It's not the, the fancy uh, background that that I've been putting back there. That's just a green screen magic that, that I'm doing. All right. Okay, so today we are going to play a math game and it's going to be you versus me. So uh, in the chat, you're going to, uh, in just a second, you're going to kind of determine uh, uh, you know, how we move forward with this math game. So the math game that we're going to be playing today it is called 101 and out, okay? 101 and out. And to play this, like if you needed, if you wanted to play at home after the broadcast is over with, you need a sheet of paper, a pencil, and just one dice. And the object of the game is to get as close to 101 without going over. If you go over, you're out, all right? So here, here's how we play the game. To play, we're gonna take turns rolling a dice. And as you roll, you can either take the number that's on the dice, like let's say you get a one, uh, you, you could take that number and it could be a one, or you can um, at, multiply it by 10 to make it a 10. So for example, if you roll a five, you could take the five or you could make it a 50. You keep a running record of your total as you play, and the person or the team that gets as close to 101 without going over wins, and we take turns. So I'll roll a dice, and then you, you'll, you'll roll a dice, and we'll go back and forth. So uh, we'll play this first game that we're going to play. It's not going to count. It's just going to be, uh, we're just going to play it for fun. But then after that, we're going to play the best out of seven games. And if you beat me, I give you house points. If I win, you don't get any house points, all right? So let me get this set up where I can share my screen. And all right, you can see me and you can see our uh, totals there. We haven't, uh, we have not rolled the dice yet, but we're about to. So I have this online 
dice. And since I'm the teacher, I'm going to roll first. And then uh, I'll let you, and then I'll roll next for you. So my first row, of course, I got a one. You know what? I'm going to keep that one. So I'm just going to say, all right, my score right now is one. All right. First person that comments, I'm going to let you uh, make the decision as far as what we're going to do next. So here we go. Make a comment so that you can make the decision. Whoops, that's not what we need to do. Techn there we go. All right, students, you also got a one. So what would you like to do? Would you like to make this a one or a 10? One or a 10? First person to comment in the chat will determine. Is that going to be a one or a 10 for the students? I'm waiting. There's a little bit of delay between when I ask you a question and when it actually goes out there. So I'm patiently waiting. Is it going to be a one or a 10? Keep it. Mackenzie says, keep it a one. Okay. All right, Mackenzie, we're going to keep it a one. All right. Now, on my turn. Oh, Michael, too late. Mackenzie said, keep it. So it's a one. All right. I got a four. I'm going to make that a 40. All right. I'm going to make that a 40. Okay. So I have a 40 and a one. How much do I have? I have 41 points. Okay. Students turn. All right. Roll. All right, you got a two. Who, what would you like to do with this? Next person to comment. Do you want to keep this a two or do you want to make it a 20? Two or a 20? Two or a 20, what do you want to do? Next comment, 20, all right. 20, Ja'Cory says keep it, make it a 20. All right, we're doing that, Ja'Cory. All right, students 21, Mr. Crater 41. All right, here we go, I'm gonna roll. I got a two, so I'm gonna keep, I'm going to make that a 20 for me. So I have 20, 40, and one, so I have 61. All right, students turn. Ooh, you got a six. All right, students, are you going to keep the six or do you want to make that a 60? A six or a 60? Who's going to, whoever's first to comment, that's what we'll do. Six or a 60. Da, 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 da. I'm going to need to get some background music here. I'll play a little bit of this music. That's better than me singing. I'll play that until I get a comment. Are you gonna make that? Oh, first comments. First comment is in. It is a 60. All right, 60. All right, students, you have 20, 60, and one. Do you wanna, well, I wanna continue at 61, so it's my turn. So here we go. Ooh, I got a six. I got a six. I'm gonna keep that a six because if I make that a 60, I would go out and I don't like to get beat by kids. So right now I have 67 points and students have 81 points. All right, students, it's your turn. I'm rolling for you. All right, students, you have 81 points. What are you gonna do with this five? Are you gonna keep it or are you going to make it a 50? Five or 50? The music is going to start. The first one that I get, I'm answer that I get. That's the one I'll put down. Five or 50. You have a total of 81 points right now. A five or a 50. First, first answer is in. It's a five. Ja'Cory says keep it a five. Okay, and Mackenzie agrees. And I bet all of your friends agree with that too because you did 50, I would win. All right, so you got 86 points. All right, it's my turn. Here we go. I got a one. I'm going to make that a 10. I'm going to make that a 10. All right, so <laughs> everybody's saying make it a five. Keep it a five. All right, so I've got 77 points. 
well, you're ahead of me, so I have to keep playing. So, all right, I'm going to roll for you. It's You have 86 points right now. 86 points. Are you going to make that a 5 or a 50? A 5 or a 50? You have 86 points. A 5 or a 50? I've got, I think that's Jania said, keep it a five. Okay, I'm gonna keep it a five. So let's see, oh, not a six, a five. All right, so you've got 60, 80, 91 points. All right, 91 points, and I have a lowly 77. I'm gonna have to roll, I'm gonna have to roll. All right, here I go. A three, oh, that is so close. If I make that a 30, uh, I would be over. So I've gotta keep that a three. So I'm going to keep that at three right now. So that means I have 60, 77. I have 80 points right now. Uh, that's a good number. I've got 80 points to your 91. So here we go, students. All right, it's your turn. 91 points. What are you going to do with this one? Oh, come on. Seriously. Come on. You got a one, 91 points. You get a one. Are you going to keep that? I highly suggest. Highly suggest that you keep that a one. Now you don't have to, you know, you've got 91 points, but you could you could make it a 10, but you know, I don't know. What are you gonna do? No, Mackenzie, you're killing me here. Everybody's putting in 10, 10, 10. Okay, so 10 points to the students. That means you have 101 points. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Everybody in the board is saying 10 points. All right, you guys just beat me. Uh, but I get a chance. I get a chance. I can keep playing until I either match you or go over. So let's see. I have 80 points. So here we go. I'm going to keep playing. 80. I've got to make that a 5. So that makes it 85. I'm going to have to roll again. 3. I've got to keep that. A, I've got to make that a 3. Um, all right, so I've got 88 points. Four, I've got to keep that a four. Uh, that's 91 points. You got to roll again. Another four. I'm going to keep that. That's 95 points. I'm going to roll again. I got a one. That's 96 points. Okay. I need a five. I need a five right now. I need a five. I got a two. All right. So that's 90. I'm still in it. That's 98 points. I need a three. A three or less, and I'm still in the game. Anything greater than a three, and I'm out. Ah! I'm out. The students win. Oh, no. I guess I'm going to have to go cry now. I got beat by a lot of kids. I cannot believe you guys just beat me. All right, congratulations. Uh, congratulations on beating Mr. Crater. I can't believe you got 101 on the very first game that we played here. All right, tell me in the chat, would you like, okay, we can leave it at that and you can be a winner and go home and be happy today that you beat your teacher or would you like to play again? So. I'm going to play some music, and when the chat's over, you can vote. If you'd like to play again, uh, let me know in the chat. When the music's over with, I'll tally up the votes, and we'll decide if we want to play one more game. I know all the kids in the chat are happy.
All right, uh, it looks like, according to the chat, most people want to play again. So, all right, we're going to play again. If you want to hop out right now, that's cool. Uh, and before we, we play again, because if some people do leave, uh, I do want to uh, just tell everyone, I uh, hope you're, you're being safe. Make sure you're washing your hands. Make sure that, uh, you know, you're listening to your parents right now and, um, you know, staying six to ten feet away from people if you get out. Uh, I know it's it's still a scary time, and but we're going to get through this, and I'm uh, I'm happy that we're able to to kind of come on live and and do this each day. So, all right, enough of that of coronavirus talk. Back to the game. We're going to play one more game to see if the students can beat their teacher again. So, all right, here we go. Let me reset. Let me go down here. We'll just do it this way. All right, I'm going to let you all go first. Since I went first last time, you get to go first. All right, so here we go. This is for the kids. All right, you got a five. Do you want to make this a five? You want to keep it a five or make it a 50? A five or a 50? Let me know in the chat. Five or 50. We got our first uh, McKenzie's in there with a 50. All right, I figured you guys would want to keep that a 50, but hey, you never know. All right, 50. Yeah, everybody's saying 50. <laughs> Lots of 50s. All right, here's my row. I got a two. Well, I'm going to make mine a 20. All right, my two is a 20. All right, back to the student's turn. Man, you got another five. All right, uh, <laughs> what do you want to do? You got a five, Bo, so you got a five. Do you want to make that a 50 or do you want to make that a five? I highly suggest five, but you know, do what you want to do. What do you want to do? What do you want to do? What do you want to do? Oh, we got some guesses in already. All right, Jacory, he wants to keep that a 50. He wants to make that a 50. All right. So you've got 50 plus 50. We know that equals 100. Oh my goodness. 100. Seriously? Okay. Well, I'm going to roll. I got a three. So I'm going to make my three a 30. So now I have 50. I have 50. Um, now here's the question. All right. I'm going back. I'm going to go back to students and I'm going to let you decide. You have 100 points, okay? Students, you have 100 points. Do you want to stay and stop or do you want to continue? I'm going to let you vote in the chat when the song's over with. I'll tally the votes up and the majority will uh, the majority will win. So, all right. So, you're what you're doing right now, do you want to Excuse me. Do you want to stay at 100 or roll again? Do you want to stay at 100 or roll again? Got one stop. I've got another stop, another stay. Another stop. Oh my gosh. You sure you don't want to continue to roll? I mean, come on, you get a one. think I convinced you all to to row so uh, 100 it is all right you're at a hundred all right here we go I'm gonna row so that means in order to tie you I have to get 100 in order to beat you I have to get 101 so here we go let's see what I can get that's a three I'm gonna make that a 30 all right so now I have 30 plus 30 is 60, 60 plus 20 is 80. I have 80 points. All right, I'm gonna roll again. I got four. If I've 80 and 40 is 120, so we're not doing that. Uh, I'm just gonna add 
Oh, where'd my 30 go? I'm going to add four. So now I have 84 points. All right. Let me make this a little bit smaller so we can see it better. All right. So I have 84 points. Let me roll again. I have three. If I make that a 30, I would be in trouble. So I'm going to keep it a three. I have 87 points. Uh, two, if I made that a 20, I'd have be 107. So I can't do that. So let's make that just a two. And so I've got, let's see, seven, nine. I've got 89 points right now. A three, I need to add just three to it. So I have three plus 89 is 92. I'm going to add another two. That's 94. Ooh, I got a six. That's 98. Two points to tie and three points to win. Two points to tie, three points to win. Anything greater than three and I'm in trouble. Anything less than three, I'm still okay. But if I get a three, I get 101 and I win. Yeah. Uh-oh. That's right, Johnny. Uh-oh. All right. Three. All right. I need a three. I need a three. I need a three. Oh, are you kidding me? I got a four. 102 points. You guys beat me again. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. So that was fun. All right. So you, you all won uh, with 100 points. I have 102 points, so I am out. Uh, congratulations, students, on the, on the win. You beat your teacher twice. That doesn't happen very often. I don't, and I don't like to lose, but I'm not going to be a be a sore loser. Um, so, homework tonight. This is a, this is what I want you to do. Play 101 and out with someone at home. You don't have to have real dice. You can get online and and use uh, this. Here's a link. So after this is over with, you can check it out. It's just online stopwatch and then uh, and then a dice uh, then click on the dice and you can play it uh, and this will be some fun game that you can play uh, with your family at home all right everyone I had an awesome time today tomorrow we're gonna be back and I've got a science a fun science experiment that we're gonna be doing tomorrow so uh, it could get messy I hope it doesn't, because if it does, it'll mess all my computer equipment up in here. So uh, we're going to do a fun, uh, quick science experiment tomorrow. Uh, on Wednesday, we're going to do a read, read aloud. On Thursday, make sure you're here on Thursday for sure. We're going to have fun playing trivia, uh, and the, we're all going to play it together. So you won't have to be playing against me. You'll get to be playing against uh, two teams, and I'll, I'll talk more about that on Thursday. So uh, I'm looking forward. Uh, and I don't have Friday planned out yet. Uh, we'll, I'll get there. But um, I miss all of you. I hope you're, you're having, uh, I hope you're okay. Uh, you know, if you need anything, uh, email me or your parents can send me a text. You know, my email is carvercardinals at gmail.com. Uh, that's the email I'm checking, you know, associated with this channel. Um, continue to, uh, you know, be safe and continue just to, to uh, to be strong because we're all going to get through this together and uh, I can't wait to see you all again hopefully real soon in the future but I will get to see you tomorrow virtually on this YouTube channel I'm gonna let the song play for one more minute I'm gonna answer a few of the uh, any comments that you have over here on the screen and then I'm gonna end the broadcast have a great day everyone I'll see you tomorrow at 1 p.m. share this like subscribe you know, all this stuff right here. Subscribe, like, and share this with your friends. And if you know some friends who aren't on here, tell them to, to get on here at 1 p.m. Tell them to wake up. They can wake up and, and get up for a little bit and be live with us. So I'm going to play the song, answer a few comments, and then I'll end the broadcast. Bye. Oh.